and Reddy Sujita, facilitator of Fortune Butterfly Senior Secondary School. Today, I am going to teach the topic Force and Pressure, which is related to Grade 8 Science. How do we measure force? Already given that a force must have magnitude and direction. So, we must know the unit of measurement to communicate these qualities. The unit of force is equal to Newton. It is represented by the symbol capital N. And this name, Newton, came as the great scientist Sir Isaac Newton. Let us take an object of mass M. Now, I am applying force F in the direction of east. Already we know that this is east, west, north and this is south. So, I am applying a force F in the east direction on the object of mass M. After applying the force, the body will start accelerating. Accelerating means movement. So after applying the force on an object of mass M in the direction of east, the body starts accelerating towards east. What is meant by acceleration? Acceleration means movement. Another definition for this acceleration is rate of change of velocity with respect to time. What is meant by acceleration? Rate of change of velocity with respect to time. So, if I take acceleration as A, and velocity as v and time as t, then acceleration is given by the formula a is equal to v by t. Acceleration is equal to rate of change of velocity with respect to time. What is meant by velocity? Velocity means speed with direction. So here velocity is given by the formula speed by time. The unit for speed is meters and the unit for time is seconds. The units of velocity is meter per second. Now, I am going to apply this in this equation. So, I will get acceleration is equal to meter per second by time. Unit of time is second. So, I can write it as meter per second by second. So, with this, the acceleration is equal to meters per second square. Now, with these two equations, I got acceleration as meters per second square. Now, let us enter into the topic. More acceleration requires more force. By this we came to know that less acceleration requires less force. If I apply more force then the object will go to a more distance. If I apply less force the object will go to a less distance. That means here we came to know that acceleration is Directly proportional to force. More acceleration, more force. Less acceleration, less force. So here, acceleration is directly proportional to force. This is our equation number 1. Here, if the mass of the object is more, if the mass of the object is more, then it will move to a less distance only. That means if mass of an object is more, the acceleration is less. The movement of that object will be less. If the mass of an object is less, then the acceleration will be more. Less weight 
object I have taken and I applied force, it will go to a more distance. More weight object I have taken and if I apply force, only to less distance it will travel. So here, if the mass is more, acceleration is less. If the mass is less, acceleration is more. So it is inversely proportional. Acceleration is inversely proportional to the mass of the object. This is our equation number 2. From these two equations, we came to know that acceleration is directly proportional to F by M. Acceleration is directly proportional to F and acceleration is inversely proportional to M. So, this is our third equation. From these two equations, we got this third equation. So, here, acceleration is directly proportional to force and inversely proportional to M. Here, if I am sending mass to this side, it becomes multiplication. So, M into A is directly proportional to F. That means, force is equal to the product of mass and acceleration. Force is equal to the product of mass and acceleration. The unit of mass in SI system is kilograms and the unit of acceleration is meters per second square. That means force is equal to kilogram meter per second square. This is called as 1 Newton. So the unit of force in SI system is Newton. The unit of force in SI system is Newton. What is meant by SI system? SI system means international system of units. The units which is used globally. That means all over the world. Another name for SI system is MKS system. What is meant by MKS? Meter, kilogram, second. Meter, kilogram, second system or else international system of units. And one more name is also there for this SI system that is metric system. So the unit of force in SI system is Newton. What is the unit of force in CGS system? What is meant by CGS system? Centimeter, gram, second. So what is the unit of force in CGS system? Dying. So here in SI system we can measure force in Newtons. In CGS system we measure force in dynes. Do you know 1 Newton is equal to how many dynes? 1 Newton is equal to 10 power 5 dynes. 1 Newton is equal to 10 power 5 dynes. Here already we know that 1 Newton is equal to kg meter per second square. 1 Newton is equal to 10 power 5 dynes. Newton is the unit in SI system that means international system of units. Dyne is the unit in CGS system of centimeter gram second. Here 1 Newton is equal to 10 power 5 dynes means 1 Newton is equal to 1 lakh dynes. So here Newton means 1 kilogram meter per second square. That means the amount of force acting on 1 kilogram mass to accelerate 1 meter per second square. Now it's time to think and answer. First question. Unit of force in SI system is. Second question. The strength of the force is called as. Third question. Unit of force is named after the scientist Rash. 
Fourth one, one newton is equal to dash dyne. Fifth question, MKS system is also called as dash system or dash system. 